Yeah, buddy, Crow back again with another pinball video on the At Games Legends Pinball. Continuing to look at the Tato Pinball Pack Volume 1. Uh, this is, we're going to take a look at Rostan Saga. Uh, also included in that pack is Darius, Frontline, and Space Invaders. This, those four tables in the pack cost $25. Uh, $6 and some change if you break it down for each table. I got the, a code from At Games, so I got this for free. Just putting out that I didn't pay for it, uh, but I probably would have paid for it anyway. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna look at Raskin Saga. I'm gonna boot it up here, and um, we'll I'll kind of go over the layout of the table a little bit, and then you'll see a game, uh, probably one of the best games. I'll play a couple games maybe, well, unless the first game's really good, then you'll see the first game. Uh, but um, yeah, I have played this. I played. I think I played partially one game before, and then I ran out of time, kind of had to stop. But again, we get, um, like the rest of these Taito uh, pinball tables we've seen so far, it is kind of laid out like a late EM, early solid state table. We got the rollovers back there on the back box, uh, kind of simulating rollovers, uh, like uh, Zach, like uh, Magic Pixel does for those um, EM tables in Zachary Pinball. And again, this table will only be on At Games Legends devices. It is exclusive to that, so this will not show up in Zachary Pinball at all, which is why I'm using cameras pointing at the video screens to, to make this video. But um, the feature, like, again, it's a really simple layout. We got the two pop bumpers here. What's interesting about that is you can't hit them from the front. Instead, you get these drop-down targets in front of these pop, down, uh, pop, uh, pop bumpers. When you do hit one of these targets, depending on which one you hit, the, that pop bumper will begin to flash then it becomes worth, I think, like 10 times the amount of points it normally is worth, but it does time out and does reset, and you will have to hit that drop target again in order to reset that. Um, the main thing that you're going to go for on this table are all these drop targets around the side there. There's three sets of them, because when you do get all three sets, you automatically get the special, which is an extra ball, and I think that if... Um, I think that if you have an extra ball and you do it again, I think you do get half a million points. Um, that's what I'm guessing when I looked at the rules. It didn't specifically say that, but uh, it just said extra ball or half a million. But I'm, I think it's that you have to do it twice on, on one ball. Um, there's something you hit that'll like the spinner to make that worth 10 times the points. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but we'll probably figure it out as we play. And if you do like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Thanks. <laughs> okay, starting a new game, and um, again, <laughs> I didn't like how the first two ones started, so uh, of course I'm starting again. But I was saying that what is lighting that spinner, whether or not it's worth 1,000 or 10,000 points, is just hitting, If it, whenever it hits a slingshot, it just alternates between on and off, and that's it. That's some nice stuff there. And now we've hit that... Um, for the pop bumper, so that is on. Um, again, it's it's kind of sucks when. Oh damn! You want to hit that spinner, but it's not lit. Like right now, it's lit. So let's get some points for that. And it's still lit. So why not? Oh, there now it's off. I guess maybe the best thing to do is if it's on, go for the spinner. If it's off, go for the drop down targets. I mean, that might be the best way to try and get your points. There we go. Oh. And we're good. We're good. We're good. It's on too, so. Let's get some points there. And I do have that. I don't know what the, is increasing the whole score there. I wasn't really paying attention. It's probably labeled. Oh, it's the in lanes. <laughs> also, um, the middle lane, uh, the rollover in the middle there. So we do have uh, one row lit. So we're one third of the way there to getting our extra ball. Uh, it is lit, but let's go for that. Yeah, almost. And I think that all resets every ball too. So you do have to do it all in one ball. It, in fact, well, that would, would make, make, make the most sense. And this is some awesome music. I think this might be the best background music in <laughs> out of all the tables, to be honest. 
Um, it's lit, so let's get up there. I mean, I could go for the drop-down targets to flash the bumper, but to be honest, the bumpers are pretty hard to hit on purpose. And even when it does hit the bump, pop bumpers, it's not like it's going to get caught in there and get a lot. We did get our 400,000 points there. <laughs> and we lost that. And, oh, no, actually the two specials remain lit. So just the targets were... So it's still, I only need that one at the top there. So it's being pretty kind to me there. And if that's the case, I wonder if you get an extra ball the first time and then half a million the second time. Um, okay, so let's see if I can get up there. Should Because I really want to get um, all three of those lit. So, oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, wow. I love that part of the song. <laughs> Not lit, but come on. Not any. I don't have any of those. Oh, look at that. Just hold the ball for me, please. But yeah, I think all three of these tables so far in the um, in this Taito table pack are just awesome. And... Um, What's interesting will be when we see the Space Invader table, because that is completely different from the rest of them. In more ways than one. Alright. Come on, get up there. Alright. I guess that row of targets up there is more difficult than I... Oh, nice. Um, let's go for the hole because that is 400,000, which I missed completely. Again, we got that row again. I can't get the top one. That is, that is the most difficult one. There we go. It is, seems a little bit hard to get it on that flipper too, but it's probably because it's, what you need to do is hit that, get the spot up there to hit that lock hole that's kind of hidden. And then it'll feed it to that flipper. Oh, that was a nice shot. Come on. There we go. See, just like that. Oh, and I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I got it. That was the extra ball. So just as soon as all three of those are lit, bam, extra ball. And I think if we do it again, that's where we get the half a million. And which is not something I used to go for. I don't, what's advancing the, yeah, the whole score though, as soon as that's worth like 400,000 points, go for that. <laughs> um, whoop. Love this music. I, I know I've said that more than once, but it is awesome music. Spinner's lit, let's go for that. And I like how it just keeps going right for the lit holes. <laughs> or the uh, rollovers. Boom! Boom. I keep looking occasionally just to make sure everything's recording because I have three separate devices recording this. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure my phone, like, my phone is actually recording the. Oh, look at that! Did we get the 500? I think we got the 500,000, to be honest. I wasn't even paying attention, I didn't even realize I got all of them lit again. So, not bad on this last ball here. 
Boom! <laughs> it, helps, it helps the ball if you say boom when you flip it. It's, it's a scientific fact. To give it a little extra oomph. Boom! That's another 400,000. Boom! <laughs> Alright. Um, no, 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 no. I was trying to... Oh, man! That's what I get for trying to sneak behind the, between the bumpers. Three million. Not bad so far. Okay, this is our last ball. Unless we get another extra ball. Wow! So much for that. <laughs> but there you go. That is Rastan Saga. This was a really good game. I wonder how I did in the leaderboards. I mean, this is really early, but um, where am I? I'm at 3 million. Oh, look at that, 6 million. I am around 30. <laughs> Um, actually, I'd be at 28, I think, uh, right now. So that that's actually my third or fourth game, if you include the ones I kind of stopped right at the beginning there. But anyway, Rust and Saga, that is a fun table. All of them have been fun so far. So next time we're going to be looking at the Space Invaders table. Stay tuned for that one, because that one is radically different from the rest of these. So see you next time. Bye.